Hi everyone. Welcome to Yes Africa Mixing. Um I hope you're doing great. Um I just dropped the link to the um agenda. Um please add your names and any topics that you want to discuss. Let me share my screen. Uh, is my screen visible? Oops, the date is not correct. <laughs> Sorry. Um. So yeah, I don't know. Is there um any newcomer? Um. I don't think Sylvia. I think Sylvia. I don't know if us. Sylvia, have you joined these meetings before? Um. Or is this your first time here? Um, hello, everyone. Um. This is my first time joining the meeting. Oh, nice. Welcome. Where are you joining us from? And what do you? Um, Johnny from um Nigeria, Lagos. No Abuja. Yeah. Great. Um, that's awesome. Welcome, Sylvia. Uh, welcome to our Thank community. You. What do you do? Are you a developer, designer? Uh, front, uh, front end developer, not a designer. Front end dev. Okay, that's cool. Welcome again. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to drop the agenda, the notes again. You can um add your name to the um agenda or the meeting notes rather. Uh, who'd like to take notes for us? Or who'd like to also facilitate next week? Okay, I think uh Winifred said she was going to facilitate the next week since she's not able to do that today. So, but who would like to take notes? I don't know if anybody wants to volunteer to take notes. Um, okie dokie. Uh, um, okay, I think that thumbs up means yes from Yiga. Um, I think I see somebody that I haven't seen in this meeting before. Joy, Joy, do you want to say hi? Hi everyone. Good afternoon. I'm surprised you said you've not seen it before. I think I joined the meeting last year. Last year? Oh, okay. Yes. I'm so sorry about that. My very non intensive memory. But yeah, uh, welcome again. <laughs> welcome back again. Um, Thank you. Sure. Um, okay, I think we can get started already. Um so I wanted to notify people that um I think the there are some especially for like front end developers and people that do DevOps, there are some open issues on the budget repo. So we launched um the we launched the um project budget um sometime last month, and there are a couple of open um issues here um why we get to put together different things and bring back the developer focus group but i wanted to notify people that there were also some open issues here um which are open and you can pick them i think only a few of them have been taken just even this one that's assigned to tk but like there are a lot of issues here so if you're a front-end developer um you can just comment on any of these issues and tag me. I would assign them to you. So there are a couple of issues open here. Um, let me drop the link in the chat so people can have access to them. Um, where's the chat? Um, yeah. And then also, um, if you do more of like um DevOps, there are some open issues on the um badging API um so badging API um repository as well like uh, there are about five of I think two are being taken by um Desmond uh this is Desmond yes this is Desmond and um I don't know who this is but yeah so there's still some open here so you can also check it out um and let us know let me know, just tag me or Enoch would assign you the issue. Um, I don't know if there are any questions about this. Um, 
about the open issues or budget as a whole. Mm. No questions, see. Mm, comments. Okay. I don't hear any. Okay. Um, all right. So if you have any issues, um hopefully I think um we with the soon we'll get like the developer focus group active um because like i know that they have not been meetings i guess um, i think they have not been meetings lately right so very soon we'll be able to um have better conversations around um, development but for now i think these are issues that people can pick up um yeah that's about that um players with their respective scores and wickets taken when we see somebody your question is okay uh, trying to look for who joined um okay so i put two things here from like project managers i don't know if any of them is here if there's anything that you wanted to update us on like um or and also the accessibility group i know a lot of things have been happening um is there anything you want to update also on giga or service thing okay um hi everyone um so for accessibility as the update is the same from all of the the meetings you know that we've had in the week um, the newest thing is we're currently adding issues to to the repo, and I just added like one today. Um, I don't know if Ruth, please, can you share like a screen to the repo? Um, yeah, the way I can, it, I can share it. Um, let me see if it's on this meeting notes. Um, this is the repo, I think. Okay. Let me try to find it. I think I've seen it. This should be the repo, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um. So under the issues, um, there's a new there's a new one there. Um. I did it differently from, like under the issues, there's like a new one. Yes, the one with the design label. Um. So so if you scroll down, you'd see that, you know, there's like one to nine. Each of those one, each of them, like the one to nine are actually separate like things, but because they fall under um, the same guideline, right? And yeah, because they fall under the same guideline, I basically put them in one so that we're not creating issues all over the place right and also they all fall under like design um task so i was thinking that maybe the design team leads or anybody can just look at it and come together and work on it as a team i don't know what we think that's why i just you know created that one like that do we prefer single issues for each of the nine for example or do we prefer it, you know, grouped together like how it is on the sheet? Yeah. So, so let me know. let me see. So this is about the home page, right? That's this page. Uh, if it will also make, if you can add like link, is there a direct link to where this is? Is like if you can add that link in this issue description, that would be good because so the person gets to see because um. The person that might be fixing it might not be um I, I know it's design design related, but like the person might not be um might not understand the context so they can see it like where is this or the so I'm guessing this is the home page, right? Um mm -hmm. location home page. So the hero section. Okay, this is the home page, right? 
So I think if you can open it by pages, it makes more sense so that like whatever is fixing like that particular like whatever is as it a, if it's a page, I can just fix everything on that page and like that's my own task to do, right? So I think outlining like that that one to nine putting it under the same category um works. Everything here is for the home page, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I think you can just add like a link to the page um as well to this description. It could make sense. So I don't know if that that's one issue here. Um so this one is already is ready for a designer to fix, right? To take to take up, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay, so I don't know if there's any designer here that wants to, you know, work on this or it's something that we can just post in the design channel. Is there any designer? Just call um, Lamy. Sorry, I just joined, so I'm not sure how the... Um, oh, okay, okay. So like we're talking about... Task for you. Yeah, so we're talking about like um uh, they've been doing like um um accessibility audit. I think Yiga and uh, Victoria and a couple of other people have been doing like accessibility audits on the Chaos Main website and the um badging dot community Chaos dot community website. So this is one of the like this is a review that they have done or an audit that they've done, and this is the uh feedback on like the homepage, like the things to make uh to make those things more accessible so that's the context all right i'd right. like to work on that please okay great so i can just assign this to you or if you can just you know, make a comment then Yiga can even right. so um okay right. so this thank you Yiga. so this is one um i know that um i know that you mentioned a couple others i hear Oh yes. Yeah. No, no, that's not the only one. Um, the other update that I wanted to add, <laughs> Victoria is on the top. The other update I wanted to add, I put it in the notes. Is Victoria is almost done with testing and documenting, um, the community page of the website as well. So I'm sure that's what she's even currently, um, doing in the doc right now, like documenting the the results and stuff like that so yeah, yeah. um the community page. The other, yes the community page has a couple of pages that i think so they're understanding yeah, yeah, yeah so we're doing it like it's obviously like step 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 okay. by step yeah okay. um okay you wanted so... to okay. No, no, the, the, what I wanted to, I think the question I had was like on this, on this spreadsheet, there were some more, right? There were some other mm -hmm. ones. I'd... Oh, yes. Yeah. So if you scroll down, um, you'd see the column where, um, it should be column F now because I added another column for, you know, issues created. So column F and column G are so, the columns. Let's, yes, so that is done. That also is done on the, the home page. So this is home page. So this is the the column F is the home page. Where it is is the home page, and then the broken yeah. link. What link is the is the actual is the actual result? So it's showing that um there's a broken link on the page. Right, and the page does not exist, so it it has to be fixed. Uh, what's what's also the broken link? I think where is the broken link on the home page? To... Oh, you want to do... okay, okay. Yeah, because so like if you say that the broken link, it's hard to find which is the broken link. Mm -hmm. you get... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay I'm looking uh -huh. at that. I think I think I think yes yesterday I had suggested if we leave it on this spreadsheet, but I think that this spreadsheet is very hard to navigate through. So if can we replicate it here, like as an issue, because like 
I I had tried and then I I forgot where exactly I, I was going to look at, right? So if we can oh, just have okay. yes, even though we've done it here, if you can just um, I know that's kind of like extra work, but like if we can just have it listed here at least for documentation sake as well, like this repository is always going to be here. So maybe if we can just have the ones that have been done here in this in this place because then it also has more context to who can solve that issue that's one thing i like about the template so if that's not so much to do okay okay so let me let me ask i want to try to understand like your what you're suggesting um what do you want us to add exactly because if you look at the templates i don't know if you understand like if you look at the templates so the way it's structured is that when you try to create an issue, like, yeah, like a new issue, um, when accessibility needs to be done on it, the label, one of the labels that we put is like the A11Y label, right? So then it shows that, Okay, how do I explain this? Okay, so when the design, the label is probably like design or um, developers or Q&A, right? So it means that accessibility has already been done. I don't know if you get it. Um, this, this um, I think maybe we're talking about two different things. So this yeah. is, yeah, so this, you told me yesterday that the work has been done here, like some, audits have been like some pages have been audited and it is here and this was the previous thing um that was used to um document what is going on the work that is going on but now you, there's a repository right that mm -hmm. it's way easier um mm -hmm. the work that has been done here already right because I, if i want to open an issue if i come here i i feel lost i don't know where to look at right so can we have like the issues replicate the ones that have been done here replicated on this on this place like as issues so that people okay. can, um, can work on yeah, all so right yeah, this home page, coming yeah, here yeah. and now opening up an issue and saying home page you know this da 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 and mm -hmm. then working on it and then someone can work on it so instead of me because yesterday I, I wanted to actually do this to like but I, I was lost on where am I looking at what am I looking at so can, uh, no, that's fine that's like my own um so my own yeah. so that's why we're just okay. having the issue here so that people can say okay for example now we've we figured out that Lamy can do this one right so if you have more here like these meetings, we can um you know send it to people or mm -hmm. in respective um channels and people can pick it up. Um, yeah. So that's what I was talking about. Yeah, I think Victoria has a hand raised. Yeah, um, Victoria I can go for it. I I wanted to um answer the question on the explanation as to where the program link was and all. So I don't know if this spreadsheet, I know this spreadsheet, this spreadsheet is not editable for all, but I feel like people who want to work on the, um, who want to implement the accessibility um, issue, at least they have an access to it. I don't know if I'm wrong either. If like a designer or a developer wants to, work on an issue or implement an accessibility issue they have a viewing access to the spreadsheet <clears throat> because the spreadsheet also has comments and all of this is to actually guide the designer or the developer or whoever it is that's going to be working on this project i would start filling in the um cell for designer, developer, or UX writer, whoever it is that <clears throat> it is their own part to fix the issue. At least I think that will make better sense. But the spreadsheet is supposed to explain because it's showing location. So it's showing you the exact location where the issue is on the web. 
right? And showing what exactly is the issue, which is the result from the um, test. And there's more comments. There are not a lot of comments yet. I'll feed them in just as soon as they start um, assigning issues to designers and developers. The comment is also supposed to explain like in details why this is an issue. And I think there's also a page for um, suggested suggestions rather. Yeah, I think there's a page for suggestion, suggested fixes. I just added it today. So I think we'll feed that into the, all of this is just to make it easier to understand for anyone that is going to fix the issue. So I feel like the people who are fixing the issue should have access, viewing access to the um, slide to the spreadsheet, viewing mm -hmm. access to understand what the issue is, where the issue is, and the comments attached to it. I don't know if this explains or answers your question about where the broken link is and all. Okay. Um... Okay, Um. what you're saying is like, for example, this one, you put a comment here to say where the broken link is on the homepage, right? That's what you said. Yes, if you if you slide down to this expression, it's like kind of like really wide. But if you slide to letter M, there is an option for comments, right? There's no comment there, but if you go down, you should have, I think one or two of the, of the, of the um tests have comments on them, right? This is to explain better what it means and how you can follow up with fixing the issue. Right. I'm going to add all the comments just to make it easier when people start getting um aside to the issues. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. So so like you mean for this one, the where the broken link is is not there yet, and you're going to add it, right? That's what. But right now, yeah. I don't, okay. So how about it? Um, I think having the different columns and like comments work, but I think when you're trying to navigate the spreadsheet, and spreadsheets can be quite annoying to navigate, right? If you have like this, I can't edit this, so I can't do it. So if you have like um home page, this is on the home page. And on the home page, the broken link is on the on this text. Let's see, um, there are different sections of this home page. One, two, three. Um, it's on the fourth section. Um, in in quotes, you put the text where the broken link is. I can come here and just search it and then know that that's where the broken link is. It's just like for instead of me to having start maybe have to start looking at okay. This is clicking on every link, which is good to start cl clicking on every link, right? But I'm here to fix and not here to like audit. So if one, if it could just be put on this text here where the broken link is, it can be a comment. It can just, you know, be on the text as well, like on the cell, right? This um, cell here that, okay, this is where the broken link is. Um, it's easy for me to navigate, but I think... Um, Another question I have is also, where is the point of entry for people that want to work on the issues? Is it this spreadsheet or is it this issues tab? Like I'm a designer, I want to work, or I'm a developer, for example, I want to work on issues that um, have been identified by the accessibility team. Where is the point of entry for me? Am I looking for the issues here? Or because what I thought was like, this is no longer in, like this is maybe for internal, the team use. And then this is where people can look for the issues when they are not, when they do not want to audit, right? So I think that's the question I have. Um, I think that's the additional question I have. Yes, the expression is actually for the, for the team, like when you're being assigned the issue and you're, already working on it so where you go to find issues is the repository and you guys have been doing an amazing job with bringing it out of the spreadsheet and putting it putting it on the github repo so they can just go and find it and when you're now assigned to the tax and they are working on it that is when they get a viewing access to the link right 
it's just like when you join the Figma team and when you, you want to be assigned a project, then you're sent the Figma link and giving access. But in this in the case for the auditing, because the people working on it are not, um, they might not want to um, know how to do the evaluation properly, they're not going to be giving editing access, right? We're giving editing access to actual auditors, right? But people who have been assigned the tax and are current working, not people that indicate interest, no, people who have started working on it, right? They're giving viewing access to the spreadsheet to see the comments. Because I don't know, I feel like it's going to be so much work for Yiga, unless Yiga wants to do it though. But I feel like it's going to be so much uh, work for Yiga to copy the comments and put them on the repo, right? So especially for people that already have been assigned the tax and are working on the tax, right? So they can work on it. Then I get what she means by this one. I feel like this this one was rushed, but if you look at other um audits, these specific these specific locations are on it. If you go down, you see homepage navbar. So they know that it's the issue is on the navbar, right? You see community documentation because um the community has a drop down, right? And the drop down has other pages. So it tells you where exactly which of the pages, if it is the documentation, if it is the chaos cast, right? You go to that specific, but then at the hero section, that is where the issue is. So you don't have to look too far. So like I said, I think the first one was rushed and it doesn't have a like, complete explanation. But if you go down, it has, I think this is better off. And yeah, then we, so I think I didn't see this. So yeah, it's exactly what I was talking about. More context so that they don't, um, it's not like, I don't know where this is. And then you have to like, keep um looking for it it if if it's uh, more descriptive okay um thank you um victoria and yiga this is um good work so i don't know yiga are you going to replicate it on the issues or yeah i'll replicate it on the is someone talking Okay, I don't oh, know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. Um, I was just saying that I'd replicate it on like the issues. And okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you want to replicate, you can also post it because I know there will be more, there will now be like a lot more issues, right? So you can post it on like the Kid Africa channel and then people can just pick it up. Thank you very much. Okay. No Great work to everyone. Um okay. Um I think there's that for um is there any update for like project managers? Oh if is there any question, like anybody has any question, any feedback or any comments about the um okay, I think there's a question at Jezo. Will it be picked up randomly or do you want to wait to be assigned? So you can make a comment like I, I I'm guessing you're asking about the issues. So if you make a comment, um, we'll just assign just for um organization, like for it to be organized, mm -hmm. you make a comment, it gets assigned to you, and then you can start working on it. So um I think the team is really fast. So if you make a comment, they'll look at it and definitely assign it to you. So yeah. I hope that answers your question, Kinsley. Okay, great. Um, I don't know, are there any more questions, feedback for them? Uh, okay don't see any more questions so i don't know is the um project managers group is there any uh is there any update there uh issues going to be moved yeah um you guys said she was going to transfer new issues to the github so once she does that she would uh put it on the chaos africa channel and then people can go pick it up so just um Hold on a little more. Thank you, Yiga. Okay. Um, any more questions? Issues. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think we can go to the next agenda item. Um, so I think this is from Brian. I, I moved it. I think Brian is here. So we've been they've been having meetings about um 
I'll just let Brian talk about this work. Is Brian still here? Or maybe? Hi. <laughs> yes. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, sure. So, hi, everyone. Hope you're doing great. Okay, in our last meeting, I think we need to discuss about having Kens Africa looking into the into the disability inclusion and mainstreaming. Um, Brian, you're going to be cool. It keep, keeps going up so much. Okay, so give me a minute. Is it a little bit better now? Yeah, it is. Or is it still so low? Yeah, it's better now. It's better. Okay, sure. So in in the last Kiosk Africa meeting, Ruth talked about having disability differently abled people included in our community. So we had this conversation while we're in Django Kun Africa. Hmm. Is anyone hearing Brian? Don't seem to hear me. I think he stops. Stop hearing him. Is anyone hearing Brian? I'm the only one. Damn it. Whoops. I'm not hearing. I'm not hearing. Brian, I think you cut off. Uh, but yeah, maybe I, I'll just like continue before Brian comes back. So um, like I said, in the last meeting we had, um, we kind of talked about um being more, you know, with chaos, um, the chaos projects. Part of what we do here is create like um, an inclusive community for everybody, um, regardless of their um current state to be able to contribute to open source and be part of a com the community. So um we we had like interest from people um in in the community that wanted like to start up um you know reach out to people living with uh disability um and Brian I when I met Brian last year at JangoCon um he gave a very beautiful talk about um uh, strategies to create more inclusion um for disability and we just had like a very informal chat and I. I was like, it's something that I would love to like do here. And he shared a lot of the work that he was he's doing in Nairobi um as regards that. Um so um Winifred, um Brian and uh Tori, um they got together to you know plan something because basically want to start like at least with an outreach um to people living with disability. So they met um and they had like a very uh, interesting conversation into um one doing um an outreach and also having um making creating more inclusion around um the events that we we host and also even as we create more inclusion in those events how do other open source events kind of create more inclusion right um I think is Brian back or Victoria or Winifred I think Winifred is not feeling okay um just don't want to take this spot hi yeah okay. hi Ruth <laughs> sorry sorry about that sorry about that so yeah we are working together with Winfred and and Victoria and I think all of them are here which is so nice so I think you already explained most of the stuff so but I'll just outline the what you want to do in quarter one so we are trying to have like an outreach program targeting persons with disabilities and then we're also thinking around having more for persons with disabilities represented in our meetups online meetups and also physical conferences like chaos con africa so to help with that we need to like have these folks have the knowledge to take the stage and all that so we are thinking of hosting uh, a watch party for XCON. This was Victoria's idea, which I saw it's, it's so nice. Victoria is already working, is already doing a lot in the accessibility space and all that. So you can click on that link to see what is this the link? Is and okay. yeah, it's the link. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Victoria suggested we do this and we are still working party? on it. Yeah. How? Kind of, no, how would the well, is it a virtual watch party or how would it okay. work? 
So I think now I would pass it over to Victoria. I think Victoria is here. I saw Victoria. I don't want to take the spotlight. This was Victoria's idea. Hi, Victoria. Oh, hi, yes. Yeah. So um, we're supposed to collaborate with um, um, Project Enable and all of that project to host a watch party here in Nigeria for ASCON 2024. But we got an email, I think, ending of last week, and they said they didn't get sponsor, so they had to suspend the project for now. So probably will not be hosting a physical watch party like we planned to host, but we can still um people who are interested in in the event can still register online. I think it's still open. You can still register online and attend the event online. But the watch party was suspended because of lack of sponsorship from the queue. That was the email, email we got. All right. So, okay. uh, that's the thing. So, okay. I, I was thinking we meant like the conference itself was suspended. So, the, the conference will happen. No, no, not the conference. The watch party that was supposed to happen in Nigeria. Because we wanted to have like a physical watch party where um, people who are interested in the event can come and watch in person like um Figma did with Config. But that was not possible. It was suspended. But the, the conference is not suspended. You can still... Um, attend individually or virtually online. I think I think it's still open for registration. Okay, the, okay. I think I understand. Now. So, like, uh, I think the question I have is like, initially, what was the plan for like the work watch party? Like, what is it that like? What was the initial plan to get people? Um. And, and yes. Yes. So the initial plan is like I said, just like config that Figma does every year. The initial plan was to host um the watch the watch party physically here in Nigeria. It will be virtually like it's like inviting people to come and watch the events but physically that means they will share swags, they will like they'll have like a point where people met physically to see the event. Right. So that was the initial plan convey people yeah. who are interested, mostly people who use us um who have a disability to come and enjoy the event and probably people who also uh have a disability and want to dive into tech because they were talking about a lot of the topics included um tech topics um and how to involve people with disabilities. Right. So the event, the watch party like it was named was supposed to um be a physical um converging point for people who are interested in this axcon right but the our partnering um the partnering company or community said they did not get the people that got us in I think Fizant okay, yeah and project enable is also another um community that is big on people with disabilities right we're supposed to all converge and partner to host the event but they said they did not get sponsorship from the queue and they had to spawn um suspend it because we're not looking to like take it up on ourselves if we did not get like some support from the people hosting the event uh, so, well, what the, the community that was going to host the what community was going to host it like Fizan, let me check my email. Maybe I don't know. Like it's it seems interesting. Like if you could share maybe the proposal with me or something, I can have okay. it. Okay. If it's something that can still make happen or something, so um, let's not like drag the conversation. But like it, it seems interesting. So I would love to like see okay. that. Um, Should I send that after the call? Don't have yeah, to share it here. Something that. Is not internal you can send it here if it's not internal but if it's internal, it is it is sort of um 
personal so okay. no, I don't know share. like internal so I'll just maybe share it to you after the cool. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um Brian, do you want to talk about the outreach? Thank you, uh, Victor. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Also, uh, apart from the watch party, so the whole idea of having a watch party was how can we help persons with disabilities raise their technical skills? We understand that persons with disabilities already have technical skills, but for those who don't have technical skills and we want to see them on stage at Kioscon Africa or different conferences, how can we raise their technical skills? So the plan was to host technical sessions and it's when Victoria shared the idea of maybe we can have this watch party since it's also something technical. So if you also have ideas of how we can specifically reach out to persons with disabilities. So our main focus here is persons with disabilities and help raise their, their technical skills or also like just support them in uh, giving them more knowledge in the technical side so that when it can when Kioscon Africa reaches and we are having our call for proposals up, we can now also invite them to submit proposals on what maybe they were trained on. So that was the whole idea. So we can you, you can also share maybe ideas, more ideas on the on the on that. So for the outreach, for the outreach is you are planning to have we are planning to have like a physical outreach program specifically targeted for persons with disabilities. So currently most of our activities are focused for, are not direct, immediately focused to persons with disabilities. So for this outreach, it will be focused to persons with disabilities. We're planning to host it in the first quarter and we agreed it will be happening in Lagos State in Nigeria. So we will be working on a plan and everything and we'll update you probably after our, we were supposed to have a meeting this week but some of our some of our team members are not feeling well. I hope they're feeling better now, and so we decided to postpone that meeting. So I think that that's all for for that. And also, we're planning to spotlight people who are differently abled in our community and are doing amazing amazing work. Just like we have chaotics, you know, the way we feature different chaotics. So we're planning mm -hmm. to have like spotlighting for specifically for people who are differently abled. In our community who are doing amazing things and are helping in facilitating meetings and all that or participating at chaos chaos africa generally so yes yeah, so also you we're also planning on having outreach programs so if you know anyone with disabilities that is interested in open source and this is something interesting to them you can just maybe leave a comment in that document and we'll reach out maybe via slack or and then you can have them on board so I think that's all from the disability inclusion and mainstreaming team. Yeah, Maybe if thank Winfred you. wants yeah. to add something. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I'm excited for the work. So yeah, I think Victoria, you raise your hand. You want to see say something? Yeah, I I wanted to say um. Um, project enable. I think they do have um a lot of users who have disabilities. So we might want to reach out to them, um, have them involved in the outreach outreach program or um spotlighting people who are doing great work and things like that. Can you say anything? Like the yeah. website. Or yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And look it out and also like probably reach out to them. Thank you for that. And then if people have recommendations, um, because um we want to mainly focus on people that are um you know already in tech, um living with disability. So like it's it connects like in tech, since they are going to they are already in tech, uh, we can help them learn about open source and use open source um as well and contribute to open source. You know. So um if you know of any communities as well that um you know um we can collaborate because I think a lot of this work is um collaborating with people that are already doing existing um doing it already doing this work um so we can join efforts right so if you know of anyone you can also um uh, message me later or you know put it in the chat. So thank you all of you. And if you want to join their uh, meetings, they have 
the the conversations go on in the DI group. Um, but they also have like um other meetings as well. Um, so if you want to join that or if you want to, if, if it's of interest, um, to you, you can reach out to either Brian, Winifred, or um Victoria. Okay, so thank you for that. Um, Brian, I think you have another agenda item again. <laughs> so um, yeah, IWD. Um. Yeah. So I think we're having this conversation with you in our previous meeting. So about International Women's Day celebration, which is coming up next month. And I understand you mentioned that last year we really did amazing things featuring women in open source and had a Twitter space. So I was just thinking maybe this year, maybe you can partner with different communities who are hosting women who are hosting IWD and maybe have a section on women in OSS. Like we already have women tech makers all over Sahara Africa hosting IWDs and also maybe if open source community Africa chapters will be hosting something around IWDs then you can also maybe reach out to them and talk more about the kiosk hosting with the more women in the Africa region so that was just the idea like maybe partnering with them for, for the IWD yeah that's uh, I think yeah, we started the conversation already so uh, we we do not have like there's no plan yet. I know the last last year what we did was we spotlighted um women that were already um you know contributing to Chaos Africa, but right now we don't have any plan yet. Uh, but I I still I still do like the partnership part, like partnering with already existing women communities, and then um so what what do you think we can do? Is it during workshops? What kind of partnerships do you? look at like what kind of partnership or what, what ideas come to mind and this is open for anybody as well um um to chip into the conversation because i think uh, it's a few weeks so yeah what's on the what um uh, kinds of involvement do we want to do or um yeah mm, okay so the idea is already women tech makers and if you're we are looking to partner with these women-led communities already so they're already doing uh, an amazing job like sp spotlighting the challenges that women face and how we can get more women into tech so maybe when we partner with them we can shift our focus into how we can have more women in the open source space like how we can get more women to contribute to different to different things around the open source around the open source side of it and uh, where we can have like workshops where folks like Anita who is doing amazing amazing things Victoria uh, and others can like have technical sessions with them maybe have panel sessions and talk about and talk about maybe how they're really doing it in open source but of course I just we can have also ideas from others how they think we can indulge the the open source women in open source but I felt like for the Part of challenges that women face, maybe it's already talked about in the women tech makers community and other communities, but maybe also have specific challenges that women face in the open source side. We can also focus on that. Like, what are some of the challenges that women face when they want to contribute to open source? And so, yeah. Yeah, yeah those are good ideas. I don't know, does anyone want to also like drop in ideas on things that we can do? and? Okay, um, Victoria. Oh, I feel I think he has said. All of it, but I just wanted to add that uh, why we um have women do these workshops or talks and or we should also be inclusive to all women. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, yes. So yeah. I I I think we should be inclusive to all women. So we're talking women who have families maybe women who are married who have children right so that they can also come and talk about their experiences as um mothers and 
mothers who are into tech and mothers who are maybe contributing to open source and doing one tech, uh, one aspect, uh, one aspect of tech or the other, right? Or women who are students. And I think, yeah, that just inclusive, accommodating to different women. Yeah. yeah, I think maybe these sessions can, you know, channel that focus. Like if we're having sessions or workshops, or maybe the panel sessions really, right, can focus on like how, you know, women that are, um, that are, have families, um, you know, their day-to-day or something around how the, the challenges that they face with. Because participating, I think having a job is a different thing and then having to contribute to open source again is also like something else, right? Um, So maybe one of the conversations can be focused around and. Uh, how they are doing that and we can invite people that have families and um, in open source to come and you know share tips and tricks of how they're doing it as well so yeah we can do something like that um i think yeah any any um if you have any more suggestions i think we're almost out of time so if you have any more suggestions um we can keep planning this i think it's going to be a recurrent uh conversation um and thank goodness we started it so it's going to be a recurring conversation so yeah um so i think the last thing on the agenda is um i think i had this was brought up last week yeah last two weeks rather um but yeah um brian and i worked on a proposal after the conversation we had um participating in PyCon Namibia. So um I will be attending PyCon Namibia. I don't know. Kudzaya is he attending? Did he submit the talk? Is Kudzai still here? Uh yes, I'm here. I am. Um I'm can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I'm attending and yeah, I will be speaking as well. So looking yeah, forward to that. Congrats. So the talk was accepted. Thank you. Sorry? Yeah, it was accepted, yeah. Okay, great. So okay, nice. So we're planning to do um <laughs> this month. You said something they talked. Was it accepted? <laughs> um are you are you attending? No response. Okay. Uh, maybe you have to check in with them. Maybe they're doing it in batches. Um, okay. Um, but yeah, we're planning to do something. Um we don't have a lot of contributors in Namibia. Um, without we, I don't think we have a lot of contribute. We don't have contributors in Namibia. Let me not even say a lot. A lot might be a stretch, but yeah. So we're trying to see how we can um engage PyCon Namibia, um, uh, the Python community in Namibia, um, to talk about metrics, uh, open source metrics, uh, and community health, um, and also kind of like um talk about we would use that opportunity to also talk about what we do at chaos africa um and how people can get involved so we're planning to send this over to them like um doing like their sponsorship brands level sponsorship i think it's worth uh, 440 us usd so yeah so this is the proposal we prepared so i don't know i think there's there's we have few like, time but if people can go through this and let us know what you think um we'll be sending this over to them so if there are any comments or any feedback but this is what that's kind of like a one hour session where we get to talk about um open source sustainability and um community health and then what we do at chaos africa and then share swags and snacks so yeah that's the proposal we have to them we haven't submitted this yet mm -hmm. so i don't know if anybody has any comments uh, any feedback about this? Um, I had a question or okay. comment. Um, first, please, could you put the link in the chat or was it already there? Yeah, it's in the meeting notes, but let me share okay. this again as well. So, we have to look at this. Okay, yeah, that's the link. Yeah. And then I also wanted to ask, 
um is there like an indication about like how many python projects we could have this year because i'm assuming most people at pycon namibia would want to join you know with the idea that they'll be able to contribute with their Mm python skills Yeah, true. I was even thinking like, you know, they have this contribution sprints using or I think I'll reach out to um Sean or like the folks at Grimo Lab as well. So we can we can get to do that. So that's also one of the aims we put like the benefits for them we put here, right? Like to get to like we'll get to um encourage contributions to our um, Python projects. Those are the yeah major Um, I know the badging, there's some component of the badging API that's Python based to that can also work. Um, but I, I think we can be able to participate in their sprints as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, um I think we can if you have any comments, you can drop it in the the chat. Um but yeah, that's the that's the last agenda item. Thank you everyone for joining the meeting. Um, I don't know if there are any last questions. Okay. The other meeting is here to take over. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I see Marty already. So um thank you everyone and uh have a wonderful evening. Bye. Thank Marty you. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. Uh thanks everyone.